Air and Missile Defense is all about the radars and tracking. Raytheon brought two new radars with them to the show, and Mike Mills told us about their latest developments. So we're here today with a couple new Raytheon radars, LTAMs and Ghost Eye MR. Before we get into the details of the radars, Mike, tell us a little bit about the threat scenarios that these radars are, are, are addressing. Yeah, so based on where we're at in the state of the, the world today, we're really, these radars are designed to go and handle tactical ballistic missiles, uh, counter UAS, unmanned drones, hypersonics. So the threat is so real right now that the U.S. Army has put a requirement set out there that helps us address uh, the threats that are in the world today. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's talk about LTAMs first. Uh, what are some of the, the pertinent details? And I know it's a radar still in development. Yeah. So what's the, what's the schedule going forward? Yeah, so we're in a really great program right now. If you think about the state of where the Army started, this is not a traditional program. This was a rapid prototyping uh, program where we started with a design and we were building at the same identical time. Mm -hmm. So we've delivered six units to the Army already. These units are out in the field. They're being tested. They've been tested for the last two or three years. We've done hundreds of tests. Uh, the Army's getting really close to their milestone C decision, which will be at the end of this year. Uh, so the testing's going really, really well. Uh, this is a building block radar. So when you talk about the LTAMS variant, uh, which is part of the Ghost Eye family, we've also got the medium range and we also have what's called the high mobility. Um, the nice thing about that is we have a lot of commonality throughout the entire radar set. So if you think about it, if you look at what the LTAMS is, the rear arrays that are on there, they are, it's the same array on the MR or the HM. So that allows us to drive the overall cost down to our customer base a lot. Um, so you mentioned commonality, Mike. Uh, I'm familiar with the Navy Spy 6 radar. What are, what's the commonality between the Army radars and the Navy radar? Yeah, the LTAMs took a lot from SPY-6. Uh, the, the whole common software library we use across our radar programs is about 80% reuse that we took from the SPY-6 family of radars and took it into LTAMs. The same building block approach we talked about uh, with LTAMs, MR, and all our Ghost Eye family radars, we took that same thing from SPY-6, which the same type of environment with sure. building block. Excellent. So let's move to Ghost Eye MR, which is a uh, a key element of NASAM's air defense. So tell us about that program. Yeah, so you think there about NASAMs, there's 13 countries in the world today that use NASAMs. So we've been looking in the future, what's the next generation radar for the NASAMs? There is a lot of interest across the world in, in, with our medium range and our high mobility. Matter of fact, uh, just this week, the Norwegian MOD has put out a statement that they plan to work with us in Comsberg on development of a ghost eye radar for their defense plan. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thanks for the insights, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you, Barry.